Admiral. Gyrocopter's trying to get out of there. Night Stalker, can he use a void? Oh, they're going in, the Ramboy. Here we go, beautiful. Gyrocopter take, using the tower to his advantage, completely destroys Admiral. Possibly could get a double kill here. No, he kind of stalled and the creeps are now in the way. Valinar does escape. And again, low HP, but he's gonna, he's taking a bit of risks. He was most likely gonna check the rune, see if it was a regen rune. And yeah. Ooh, Batrider. Knew that Night Stalker was going through there. Close, but unfortunately did not prevail. Going back to top here. Rexar doing a good job at maintaining the lane, trying to get this tower down. It is very low in HP, however, undeniable, so the Sentinel will have to wait a bit before they can deny this tower. Valnar joins Rexar. The Scourge are at very low HP. Uh, the Sentinel should take advantage of this if they aren't going to teleport back, which I don't think they are. They aren't. Denied by Valnar. So if the Sentinel come up, comes up here, they could possibly get two kills. No, there's the haste rune. However, Batrider is going for Rexar. And running away at the same... Okay, this is not looking good. Oh my goodness! Beautiful net! There we go! Oh! I did not see that coming. Amazing job on Batrider's behalf. Uh, in case if anyone didn't watch that, or miss it, for some reason and you want a small recap rather than replaying oh and there's the deny sorry batrider denying that tower this batrider's doing a good job but anyways he made it look like that he was going to uh perish their batrider at low hp and he was out here and they were both here however when they went to chase him at low and batrider was at low hp he simply just netted pulled in and started attacking afterwards Balnar, which ended up killing him. Very good job on Batrider's behalf. I can't stress that enough. That was just, that was really amazing. I did not see that coming, and I'm sure the Scourge didn't either. I see a battle down here. We've got Alt by Pudge. Pudge, however, is taking heavy damage. He does still have the Rod on, and Pudge is almost down. Can Amaral get him? Beautiful. Beautiful wave by Amaral. We got Earthshaker stunning. Didn't really do anything, but was trying, I guess. Creep control, I don't know. So we got four Scourge down here. They could push this tower. However, their tower was pushed. No, sorry. However, they pushed a tower in middle with no one being there. That's interesting. And, ah, oh, that sucks. They're, they're, I'd say their best player on the Sentinels team left. That's really... That's upsetting. Uh, chances for the Sentinel winning, considering Batrider was one of their solos, although they did have two, is extremely slim now. Uh, basically what happens is a lot of people leave games when solos leave, because that's pretty much their key player. And when they leave the game, they're technically really behind. You could still win a game, it's totally possible, but in in an easy mode game, more so. In in just straight AR, AP, I don't think it's going to happen. So, so far, this, things aren't looking good for the Sentinel. And Tidehunter is trying his best to get Rexar. Still pursuing Rexar. Staying pretty close. I, what's the mana cap? Here's Pudge. Can we get a hook by Pudge? Oh, just a bit led too much. Oh, that's so close. That was extremely close. There's the Quill Beast with the slow poison. Rexar's, what was that? That was not good on Rexar's behalf. However, Rexar still is okay. There's a hook. Pudge going in. The rot was slowing. He's in a danger zone. Pudge knows it is. Now, he has a bit of mana left. Uh, if he just waits a bit, he could possibly hook. Rexar's in a tight situation here. He really doesn't have anywhere to go, considering he could be hooked at any second now. Here we go. Trying to get out of here. The creeps are even after him. Gush! 41, 27, 32, 19. Invoker with the save. Oh my goodness. 
And a haste rune. Oh, wow. He's... Get out of there. Not to take sides, but... Okay, there we go. Invoker is invisible. Ghost walk. Uh, Pudge did have the rot, but I guess he... Okay, we got a void. Uh, Tidehunter's in trouble. So is Pudge. There's the EMP. Tidehunter down. Pudge. Still in a slight danger zone. Okay, Gyrocopter comes in. Cleans up. Beautiful job on Gyrocopter's hand. However, Earthshaker doing some heavy damage here. Uh, we got Pudge going after Invoker. Gyrocopter going in for support. Now Gyrocopter needs to get out of here. Okay, oh, all by Earthshaker. Destroys Gyrocopter. Can Pudge get out of here alive? Using the Fog War to his advantage. However, the creeps are also here, which is not to his advantage. And he should rot. Rot is better to do. Rot, 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 rot. Come on, Pudge. No, he thinks he can get out. No! Oh. Very intense situation there. Uh, quite the... Uh, I'm trying to think. What's that What's that uh, ride? That uh, playground ride that kids play on? I'm trying to think. Teeter-totter or something? It was It was like a teeter-totter, so... Or, or it, back and forth, basically. Basically. Mmm, bacon cookies. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, we had the Scourge prevailing and the Sentinel prevailing in that situation. In the end, it turned out not good for the Sentinel. It is 3 to 5 or 3 to 4. So, uh, it's not, it wasn't good for the Sentinel in the first place. I was actually really surprised by that Rexar's movements and how he actually managed to escape at the start. Like, that was really amazing. Just using the fog, fog of war, and yeah, it was just great. Tidehunter pursuing... Oh, there's the alt. It is an escape alt because Admiral came in unexpectedly for Tidehunter. Here's Pudge and Gyrocopter. We got three versus two. Ult by Pudge. Tidehunter is hammering. Uh, Invoker with the save again. There goes Tidehunter down. Gyrocopter and Pudge are both down. Gyrocopter's down. Pudge gets a hook. And Pudge is down also. One Scourge for three Sentinel. Uh, definitely good for the Sentinel there. How... Again, another, uh... Teeter-totter moment. We had... Two Scourge versus one Sentinel. Then we had two Scourge versus three Sentinel. And then we had a set a Scourge here. And another Scourge came in here. So it ended up going back and forth on who, who, who it was benefiting the most in that situation. This tower is falling very fast. However, the Sentinel has just respawned. They cannot really defend it. Too many creeps there. Uh, we got Rexar, we got Invoker, we do have a meat wagon, and that tower is going down. Admiral, all by himself here, taking lots of damage from the tower, actually. Uh, if I was the Sentinel, I would definitely take advantage of this situation. Pudge is going it alone. Deke's that. Pudge ults. Taken damage by the tower as well. Beautiful move on Pudge's behalf. Tower was used to his advantage. Thanks to his alt. And Pudge needs to really get out of there. Ah. That's disappointing to see. When you're this pushed close to your base. Like, let's say you're the Sentinel. And you're pushed about this far into your base. You really, after you get kills, should go back to base if you're at low HP. There's just, there's no way you're going to benefit otherwise. Pudge was at low HP, started using Rod on creeps, and then Evoker got there. And he kind of saw him, probably could have evacuated, but didn't. So, make sure to head back on situations like that. Rexar, low in HP. Tidehunter, low in HP. However, he did not see him. Gyrocopter, however... Hobing Missile has been activated. Beastmaster did use Wild Axes. He's taking the tower away. Tidehunter's here now. He's out of here. There was no way he was going to live that. Uh, 
this way the tower would have got him anyways. He would have had to go back and they were both here, so... Yeah. Admiral looks like he's going to do some creeping. Yep. Cleave is really good with Admiral too for creeping, so... Uh, I'd advise creeping even more than as a regular heroes with Admiral just for this factor. Any hero with Cleave basically is a good creeping hero, a good neutraling hero. Invoker going back, he's got good HP and mana, so it's obviously for item reasons. Earthshaker left. That kind of makes it even for the Sentinel. However, all of his gold and everything has gone to the Scourge, making them more powerful than as they previously were, so that's a bit of a negative on to the Sentinel's behalf. Balinar. Creeping in enemy territory. However, it, it they are pushed, so that's expected. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Beastmaster uh, was going to engage Tidehunter. Pudge is here. Balnar is now here. It's two versus two. Pudge is taking heavy damage. He's out of there. There's the ult by Gyrocopter and ult by Tidehunter. So, oh, both missiles hit. Invoker comes in. There's his Meteor Storm. Fall. Whatever. Thingy. <laughs> Beastmaster trying to get out of there. EMP, there goes the mana, homing missile on Beastmaster, there we go, can they get him, oh, there we go, perfect, I think Todd Hunter was trying to get the last hit there, but don't do that in epic situations like that, it's just not a good idea, Todd Hunter taking heavy damage, he's got two of them on his tail, oh, and there we go, he's out of here. Oh, wow.